Hey guys, Curtis Alexander, I'm a pharmacist. In this video, I wanna talk about using phosphatidylserine as a supplement to help Alzheimer's and prevent Alzheimer's. And so in this video, I'll talk about does it work, we'll look at the studies, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna kinda of give you my general uh, recommendations on, on the information and what I think. So hopping right into it, phosphatidylserine, which I'll just refer to as PTS right now, um, it's an actual lipid that is already in your body, particularly in the inner surface of your cell membranes. And it's found in very high concentrations in the brain, especially in the myelin sheath. So this becomes very important in some of these neurological conditions that we see and also with Alzheimer's. Okay, so a couple of studies. First of all, they gave PTS for six to 12 weeks. And what they found was that cognitive function at the end of that 12 weeks did appear to be improved. Now, measuring cognitive function is somewhat subjective. Um, you know, it's not a black and white thing always. So there is that to consider. And the product that they use, we'll talk about this in a bit. The product that they use was bovine or cow, came from cows, three to 400 milligrams in divided doses per day not the soy products that we typically see nowadays. So do keep that in mind. Um, based off the few studies that we have, there's not a ton of them. We, it appears that PTS is more helpful in the early stages of dementia or even early Alzheimer's. It's not very effective or doesn't appear to be very helpful with more advanced symptoms. Um, the other interesting thing, we kind of have this 16 week mark that we see in these studies that it can be beneficial and then we hit that 16 week mark and it seems that the symptoms come back and kind of PTS doesn't seem to be as helpful at that 16 week mark. Again, that's a general ballpark, but it doesn't appear to continue to help people. Um, jumping back to the soy products, like I originally said, the original products that seemed to be helpful were, were derived from cows, but of course years ago there was concern over mad cow disease and if we're going to get that into the products and so they kind of moved to these soy and cabbage based uh, where they're deriving PTS, which to me, I, I really don't know if that's going to be as effective. I'm not a fan of soy products to start with, but even if throwing that out, my personal feelings about soy, um, I don't know if those PTS products, since they're coming from plants, are going to be as effective as ones that were derived from other mammals. So uh, keep that in mind. Lastly, blood thinning effects. PTS can, we, we believe, cause kind of a thinning of the blood. So if you're on warfarin, any sort of bleeding disorder, you definitely want to keep that in mind. So the bottom line for me is, yes, I do think it's promising. Um, but again, I have some concern about the products that are available uh, on the marketplace. Definitely appears to just be a short-term thing. Um, I, I wouldn't expect it to be a long-term fix for anybody. Um, again, we're looking at that uh, 12 to 16 week mark, uh, definitely not beyond 16. So we, you know, long-term use does not appear to be um, a thing. And then I would just, if, if it's somebody who's a little more advanced, I, I doubt PTS is going to help them if they have early symptoms. Sure, I do think it's worth a shot. Um, so I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. Have you used PTS uh, in yourself or a loved one? Was it helpful, uh, side effects, those sorts of things? It's really beneficial for me to hear from you, kind of my hive mind. I like to hear from my crowd on their experience with stuff. And it's helpful for other people that watch the video to learn from your thoughts as well. So let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next one, guys. Thank you.